And the cost implications or savings from the gully cleaning eye cap holder can be created by normally a gully would have to be excavated or removed from the ground, the old school gullies, to replace them with the newer style, which would give us an access point. So instead of doing that and the, and the threat or the danger of hitting cables or services, which could be very, very costly to replace or repair, by just excavating or removing a small amount of the ground to the back of the gully, we can then break into the gully, put in our cleaning eye cap holder, put it into a bed of concrete and then just surface over that with thermocadam uh, or asphalt and then we just roll that out and and once we ram it into the ground the actual gully then is perfect and the cost implication would normally be anything from 900 to 1200 euros to replace a gully but for the cost of actually doing the gully cleaning eye cap holder it could be in the region of maybe 120 to 150 euros on estimate um, I worked out the figures based on the timekeeper and the depots providing me with the information from the accounts and that. And we look to save approximately between six and eight hundred thousand euros um, by retrofitting these caps into the existing gully type baits that we have around the city. To see an idea brought forward and utilised, people saying, well that's better than what we had. And that, that that's 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 pretty good, you know. And like the idea of where it's going forward, possibly for a patent. But that's something I've never had before in my life. So it, these are all new experiences. Roy's idea was the first time in which um, a patent application was in fact uh, properly considered by the council. And the idea then is, and what's happened is we've had it filed, so it gains protection now, both in Ireland and indeed in the UK. Um, uh, for a considerable period now so the council can decide if it wants to actually make use of it and perhaps put it to, uh, to uh, some commercial use. But the primary aim for the council at this stage was actually to secure protection so that someone else, if someone from the private sector wanted to develop this product, that they couldn't sell it back to the council. So that was the primary objective in getting it filed. So that